Oh man, I totally forgot about that. It's okay, I'll just do it this week. I'll have time. Those are the babies? Yeah. This morning I got out Emma's calico critters. Do you guys remember when she was going through speech therapy, we talked a lot about calico critters because it was such a good like dramatic play thing. And I have to show you, I'm so proud of her. Look at this like setup she did in her dollhouse all by herself. What's that? That's a piano. Okay. Got a piano and a little chair. And what's and over a here? A bit. Okay. And a cushion and a and a big potty. Yeah. Okay, there's a kitchen like you said. There's actually two kitchen. I don't know what that is. That looks like a little thing that they put on maybe. I haven't taken these out of the garage. We do like a toy rotation with her toys and I haven't taken these out of the garage in a really long time, like a couple months honestly. They're for you. So she was so excited when I brought these out this morning and she's just been making up her own little game in the dollhouse. What? Mommy. For the daddy and mommy? Yeah, our baby's going to sleep in there. Good night, baby. She's, oh, cause she's, she goes to her eyes. If you guys watch our videos, you might know she's obsessed with Barbies. Anything like yes. make believe. Honestly, I have a really exciting like Christmas gift planned out for her that kind of goes along with that, that Justin and I are gonna start working on like this month because it's gonna take a while. But she is obsessed with dramatic plays. That's why she loves like Disney princess dress up. She loves Barbies. And so when I brought these out, she got so excited. Actually a subscriber sent us a bunch of her childhood calico critter stuff like a year ago. and. It is still one of the best things ever. She is obsessed and I'm so excited that we brought these out today. You guys can see her little face. Got a little red when we went to the beach yesterday, huh? Mm -hmm, I got ouchie. It's a little bit red, huh? Yeah, it gets red. She just gets red so easily. We were only at the beach for like, I wanna say three hours, maybe three and a half hours, and she gets red so easily. We have reapplied sunscreen at least two or three times. She just has the fairest, Skin. I'm thinking of literally getting zinc the next time we go to the beach. Like, I don't know if you know what the zinc is. It's like this cream that's colorful that you just put across your cheeks that's like super thick so it prevents from getting burnt. Yeah, put them in the car. I don't know if that's gonna help. If you guys think that that would help, let me know in the comments. Okay, you guys know I'm normally at Target a lot, but during the month of August, specifically this year, I have been here all the time because this has been the busiest month of the year and I'm constantly forgetting things that I need to get. For example, I've been looking for this doll, but it's actually not this one. It's the one that has a pacifier with it and I guess they don't have it here and it's like sold out on Amazon. But this one might do because I got her like a little high chair to put her baby in for her birthday and she really likes the one with the pacifier. This one you guys guess like feed and stuff but it's not the same so I'm not sure if I'm gonna grab this one or get something else but I've been to Target like five times looking for it and I can't find it anywhere and it's sold out till like September on Amazon but this one's still cute I might just go get this one I actually think I'm gonna get this one instead because she had this one already and she liked it because of the pacifier and this one comes with the pacifier and it kind of looks like our brothers so I think she'll like this one so I think I'll go for this one plus this one's only $9.99 instead of $20 like I was saying this is just like the busiest month of the year I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed because there's so much coming up and I feel like it's all happening like next week we've got Emma's birthday so we have to figure out something to do with her on her birthday because her party is gonna actually be the day after her birthday but she probably doesn't understand that completely I'm thinking of taking her to build a bear possibly because they have like the pay your age thing and I think that she might really enjoy that I still have to get together her like princess setup corner thing and I have to figure out a way to do that but still surprise her because it's gonna be in her bedroom her first day of school is right after that and I have not prepared for her first day of school at all I haven't gotten prepared for that I think I'm gonna do a whole video on like preschool lunches and all that kind of stuff but I need to get prepared for her first day of school that's coming up in just like 
a, this month also, like a couple weeks. Justin and I have a trip planned for like the weekend after her birthday party, which is gonna be just me and him. Um, and it's like a quick little two day trip, but it's gonna be our first time flying since COVID, like since before COVID, ever since I think Emma was a baby. So we have that going on and I haven't even begun to pack for that. I just booked the tickets for it last minute, which is again, just like it like escaped my mind. And then on top of everything else, Justin has just been working a lot more than normal. So this whole month has been kind of overwhelming and I feel like it's probably like the busiest month of this year trying to get everything done. I'm sure there's more that I can't even like think about right now because it's just a lot um, But I got what I needed today Which was the baby doll to go with one of her birthday presents Which is the baby high chair because she's all into the mama phase and then if you guys haven't gone to Target in a while Just check it out. There's so many amazing clearance deals. Oh my god. I just dropped it Whenever stuff is on clearance at the stores I kind of buy them and then hold on to them just for a moment when I feel like is a good time to have it So this isn't like birthday presents. It's just things that I'm gonna have for when we need it So this is like a play-doh kit. It was on 50% off so it was $12 instead of 25 and then I got this little doll outfit for her my generation doll that I got her for her I think I think I got it for her for her dance recital It was on clearance for three dollars and a t-shirt which I probably will give her for her birthday It was on clearance for three and then the boys feet are growing so crazy So I got shoes these weren't on clearance, but they were buy one given 50% off which when you have twins That's the best deal you can ask for so I feel like I'm getting everything together I still have to get oh, that's what I forgot dang it food for her party I have to plan food oh man I totally forgot about that it's okay I'll just do it this week I'll have time this is what I mean by say I'm overwhelmed like I keep just forgetting things and this is why I have to keep coming back again and again regardless I need to go home <laughs> look at mommy got you shoes shoes should we try them so Asher is a whole size smaller than Ruben, like I said. So we're gonna see how these fit. <laughs> He's trying to just put his foot in them. <laughs> Asher, sit. Can you sit? sit? Sit. No, I got this, Mom, don't worry. You first, Mr. Small Feet. Let's try it. Here, let's take these actually all the way out. Uh -huh. Are you excited? You gotta stop curling your toes, honey. Here, let's try this one. Put your foot in. <laughs> mm -hmm, the five fits you, but I can't tell if the four didn't fit or if you just wouldn't stay still. Okay, he's wearing one size four and one size five because honestly the five was easier to get on, but the four looks like it like fits better than the five. You wanna turn? You wanna try the fives? Let's make sure the fives fit you because if the fives fit Asher, you might be a six. You got big feet like mommy. I got too. You got big feet too? Yeah, but I grew in Asher. Maybe it's just these Target shoes. I think that these are like a five on Ruben, which should be his size, but they're a little bit tight on him too. So I think I'll take the fours back and exchange them for a six, and I'll give the fives to Asher and the sixes to Ruben. Because they're just a little bit too small. These are the fours. Maybe they're just harder to get into than I thought. But Emma has these and they fit her amazingly well. So maybe they also need to just be worn in a bit. Cause you probably need to go up to the five and we'll just return the fours. <laughs> There's germs on you. you. You got germs. I do? Yeah. I gotta wash my hands? Yeah. Okay. Thank goodness. Thank you. Oh, no, made me more bubbles. More bubbles. Mommy, wash your hands. Thank you. If you're looking for a fun summertime activity with your little ones, 
soap in the water table with animals or dinosaurs or whatever it is, it is one of their favorite things. This water table is actually what my mom got the boys for their birthday present and it has been the most used toy, I think. We have another one that Justin made a sensory bin that's two tubs that we haven't taken out in a while just because the boys are a little too short for it, but this is perfect. And they used most of the bubbles already, but we put some toys in there for them to wash and clean. And all three of them love it, not just Emma. Okay, I'm getting ready for bed right now, but I wanted to show you guys, look at this already. I've always thought that my hair grew super slow, but honestly, since getting it cut, I feel like it's already grown a lot. When I cut it, I feel like it already grew like about that much, I mean, honestly, my roots, you can really tell because they're coming in. Isn't that weird though? I feel like I normally think that my hair grows really slow. I don't know, I feel like it's catching up pretty quickly. Anyways, I just got the boys down for bed. Justin and Emma are having like a father-daughter night, which is so sweet. I love when they get to do that. So I'm gonna get to editing this vlog. I have a couple other work things to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a couple of really fun videos coming out this week and I'll talk to you guys again then. Bye.